So everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, in this video, we'll be talking about Rashford potentially to PSG and what would that mean for Manchester United. We've also got some news on Christian Eriksen, which we will bring to you. And also, there's some other news surrounding Manchester United, which we'll also talk about. But don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and let's get straight into it. So, there's rumours coming in from, I think it was Sky Sports uh, yesterday morning that... Um, PSG may look to swoop in for Rashford again now. There's been rumours about Rashford potentially leaving Manchester United for for many, many months and years. I mean, ever, it seems like ever, ever, or whenever he goes into a bad patch of form, the rumours potentially start that he will leave Manchester United now. Obviously, Rashford to PSG is something on the cards. Um, obviously, he's had many internal issues with Manchester United over the past couple of weeks about his stuff going on in Belfast. Now that's been cleared. Eric Ten Hag has declared that to be an internal matter that's been solved. And obviously Rashford's brother, who's also his agent, has been at Carrington over the past few weeks discussing that the incident that happened with Marcus Rashford in Belfast. Now, what does this mean for Manchester United? I mean, Rashford was on great form last season. I think he scored 30 goals in about 45 games. Um, or 30 goals and assists in 45 games. I mean, he was on fantastic form and he massively helped us last season. Now, obviously, that that form hasn't progressed into this season. And that's something him and Ten Hag are probably massively working on to, to try and to try and get back to. I mean, his performances over the past few months have been really dreadful, to be honest. I think he's slowly trying to find a connection and a spark with Hoyland and um, Garnacho. Um, I mean, it's been difficult. He has been out with the team. I think his relationship with Luke Shaw is really important as well. So he is kind of finding efforts to... Doing about a play, he's on 350k, and ever since that contract extension, I don't think he's fully reached his potential. I've fully shown what a Manchester United player should be. I think there's been numerous of incidents, there's been points where he's not trying, and hopefully now with the fact that he's probably found a consistent position, he knows he's going to start as there's not really much threat from Garnacho as he's playing on the right hand side. This gave him that opportunity to dial down. I mean, he's a Manchester lad. Um, he's a great player for me. Yes, he's inconsistent, but. There's definitely potential there to work with, and that's something that Eriksen Hark needs to try and get out of him. I mean, he's not getting any younger. I think he's 26 or 25 now. Um, so he has, he has, uh, he has got, he is entering his prime years. So that's something that we need to see him do at Manchester United. We know the potential is definitely there. And we know the skills there. We know how he can beat his man and how uh, threatening he can be. So it's all about finding that now. I would, uh, how much would Rashford actually cost? Um, for me, you're probably upwards of 80 million um yes he's been really bad form but for me on his day he's, he's a really good player um i know on his he doesn't have his day good enough but for 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 the player that he is i mean he's been at manchester united or in the first team particularly for about eight nine years now um he's had great moments and for me maybe maybe not 80 but maybe definitely 70 75 and with obviously Mbappe rumour to go to, to PSG, uh, sorry, to go to Real Madrid, this would give them the opportunity now. I don't know if Manchester United will let him go. I mean, if a huge offer came in, a ridiculous offer, maybe one, 100 to 150 million pounds, I, I think Manchester United will probably take it. I mean, I think the fans would be disappointed with that. I think Rashford would be disappointed with that. And I don't think Rashford wants to really move, in my opinion. Um, I think Rashford to PSG would be something that that um, will not be on the cards for his side. I mean, he's a, he's a Manchester player. He's someone who really supports Manchester United and his boyhood club. So I don't think it'd be any position to to move. Um, but that is something clearly that's on the card. That that story has come up numerous of times. Um, obviously, he signed that new contract, so it won't be it won't be a cheap fee that Marcus Rashford will go for. But let me know your thoughts in the comments um, and what you think should happen with Marcus Rashford. Should he leave Manchester United or should he continue to stay? Um, and should his option be, and should and should he be able to to continue playing for Manchester United? For me, I think Rashford. Just to conclude on that, Rashford. Before I talk about Christian Eriksen, um, I think Rashford's performances have been yes, they've been below par this season, and yes, they've not been to a good enough standard. But for me, I think he's shown he's shown uh, ability and showed confidence. Um, and he showed what he can do. As I said, he's slowly finding form now. He's playing consistently on that left-hand side. And yes, there's probably been issues going on in his personal life. But I think um, hopefully they've been resolved and he can continue playing for Manchester United because he is probably one of my favourite Manchester United players. And yes, he's had a few dips in form. But some of his best games for Manchester United have been really, really good. He's a very skillful player. Um, and yes, the attitude, as I said, has not been there sometimes. But... I think if he continues to work to Eric Ten Hag, and which we know he wants to do, 
Um, I'm sure that the Marcus Rashford we saw of last season can come back and hopefully will come back because we do need goals. We've got Rasmus Hoyland settling in, who's still a very, very young player. We've got Garnacho, a very, very young player as well. Rashford is the more senior player in that front three. Um, and he should be showing the examples that, that why he is. But yeah, I think Rashford's been, been decent. Yes, he's not had the best of seasons, but let's hope he can move it on um, into a better better part for him personally but yeah what do you think leave it in the comments now let's move on now there's rumors that Galatasaray might be looking at to signing Christian Eriksen now Manchester United have immediately turned that down I mean he's a player who wants to be kept at Manchester United now out of all the midfielders probably him and McTominay would probably be the two that are most likely to be sold in my opinion I think McTominay yes he offers that threat off the bench and he scores a lot of goals but his ideal position and his main position that he plays is a midfielder and I don't think he's a good enough midfielder um he might be a lower league, Premier League side, but I don't I don't think for Manchester United, um, he's quite there. Yes, he got an assist against West Ham, he got a goal against Wolves, but ultimately his performance on the pitch in, in the main job that he has is ultimately not good enough and it's not to a Manchester United standard. Now, obviously, Eriksen as well, the player who's potentially going to Galatasaray. Um, for me, I think he's had, what, one season or two seasons here now. Yes, he's been good, um, but he is getting older and I think Manchester United... Need to probably redevelop that. Obviously, with Amrabat looking to go back to Fiorentina, um, we are going to be short, and that's probably why Manchester United want to keep him. I'm not saying Eriksen's a bad player at all. I mean, he's a great player. We've seen on numerous occasions for Manchester United. Um, his ability in that midfield, obviously his legs as he's getting older, um, are beginning to, to kind of... The, the pace has definitely been lost. And the fact that he's, when he's tracking runners, they do usually tend to score. And he is a liability on the attack. But there's no doubt in his ability on the ball. And for me, it's a player Manchester United should probably keep for another season. It's going to be a big window for Ineos this summer. Um, and I think Christian Eriksen's a player who should be kept. And I don't think he should go before McTominay does. But let me know your thoughts on the Rashford and Eriksen situation. I'll be doing some more videos. Stay tuned for the previews coming out. Um, maybe, yeah, tomorrow. Um... For the Aston Villa get us another huge game for Manchester United. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Trying to be consistent um, and let, let me know your support in the comments. Please subscribe. And yeah, let me know if you think Rashford should go to PSG. I've talked about that. And let me know what price tag you think it would be. Um, and let me know what you think about the um, the Ericsson situation. Is he a midfielder that Manchester United should look to get rid of? So thank you for watching and peace.